Seven. batting the third baseman number 29 Number 71. Number 18. <laughs> now batting the shortstop, number 12, Chirp Scott. Better. The center fielder, number 23. Oh. Now batting the designated hitter, number 26. batting the second baseman number two Jackson Rio Number 29. <laughs> First baseman, number seven. Now pitching, number 93.
designated hitter, number 66. Number six. Fielder, number 77. Shortstop, number three. Oh. Now batting, the right fielder, number 28. Number 23. Nope, that's hard. Ball left outside. Let's go. Hey, Are you swearing your ball? Hey. Ball. Nope, ball four. Third baseman, number 28. Now batting, a second baseman, number 71. It's that time of the week and you should be doing something else but instead you decided that it was baseball time because it is time for the baseball i'm going to leave the poll open just a moment longer uh, so you can see who we're up against uh we've got a double bill this evening a double header we're playing the fire chefs twice uh and as you can as you can make out here's bulldozer power with our 20 and 25 record not the best 
Uh, and uh, our minus 38 run differential up against the Fire Chefs, uh, who are 17 and 28, actually worse than us, but only have a minus 13 run differential. So get your votes in. Uh, what's the result going to be? Double win for the BDP? Ooh -hoo. Maybe we lose both games. Oh, oh. Or maybe we win one each, which is quite dull, but, you know, slightly fair at the same time. Um, there's absolutely nothing in it for you if you vote, but do it anyway. Then you can feel smug and what have you. I mean, if that if that counts. We'll have a quick look at the wildcard standings as they are right now. Uh, just so we can see who's in the running and who isn't. Uh, sweaty marsupials are holding on ahead of Failure Wood Hills, but they do have an extra, what's that, 35 run difference in their favour. That would that would probably do it. We must have played the Nomads at some point as well. We definitely played the marsupials. Uh, we must have played the Nomads because the roadies are currently holding that spot. But with a plus 58 record, uh, the, the Nomads could sweep that any time at all right locking it in and our survey says uh well give it back no 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 there you go uh one game each it's only fair 53 percent of you went with that uh the second favorite vote was that bdp get the double well i applaud your optimism as much as you are optimistic uh let's get to the game rooster is pitching for us should have seen that first, shouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nobody good. No, no, no. You can't have anybody good. Uh, now then, changes to the lineup. Burn the dunk. <sighs> he's fit, yeah, but he's not on form. Well, he's got to get his form back somehow, so I'm keeping him in the lineup. Now then, what about Benny the Ben Ben Cheese? <clears throat> do we bring Shandy Worthless back into the mix? I'm going to do a quick comparison. On his field. Now, Benny Cheese's fielding's great. Yeah. Okay. He's playing second. Yeah. No, Shandy Worthless can sit it out. Benny Cheese has been brilliant since he's been uh, in the lineup. I don't expect him to be brilliant. He wasn't a starter this season. But, uh, you know, there you are. There it is. Right, we're at home. Uh, and uh, Danny Cyanide's pitching for them. I didn't get a look as to whether Danny was any good or not. She might be. Welcome she back might to Colonial All right, they are Plaza. contact specialists, oh, but they have more hey, speed than us. They're better at defence than us. We've got better rotation, and both pitching bullpens are about the same. Dump the dunk. I think come the off season, I probably will. Uh, but we'll 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 see what's what. First up to bat is Duke Sponge form. Now back the centre field. And, uh, Number this is gonna, twenty-four. This is going to dictate the rest of the game. <clears throat> Look at him, he's very pale. Uh, he's obviously used to playing in a, a covered stadium. Uh, we'll start off with a slider, because why not? Uh, he's trying to hit that one a long way, but he didn't go very far. Uh, obviously, the crowd are made up of people wearing orange, or possibly grey, which could be from either team. Uh, they, they've rather stolen my, uh, my uniform, except they're not wearing the... Uh, they're not, they're not wearing the stripy pants uh, in the same way that we are. Right, that's two bendies. Let's uh, see if a fastball will catch them out. Strike three. Rooster there. Not it silly the right to get field. things rolling. Number Here's Sammy 30. Vacuum. Boy, oh boy, can he hit. Uh, he does like the first, uh, the game volume too loud. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't adjust it. Uh, where's the first one? Since when? No, no. There's the there's the cursor. It's moving the little baseball around. Oh, yeah, right. uh, take it down to about there. Uh, maybe there. <clears throat> there you go. We're in we're in the usual place now. We're in the usual place. We're we're in the usual place now. Just click back. There you go. Right. Sorry about that. I had to uh, adjust myself and the things. Right. Let's throw the ball. Yeah. He likes the first pitch. All oh, right, in that case, let's put one right in. Oh, that's right on the cusp. Ooh, that was a free strike. Oh, you wasted your first hit, hit pitch slide. Hold on, never mind. That's no, drifting. Drift, drift. Get over. It's closer than I'd like. Right, and then we'll, we'll black one. Oh, great pitch. 
Two for two for Rooster. Uh, Mr. B has purchased himself a single hot dog and a beer with a straw in it for reasons. Um, oh, I should I should shout out the other the other people who are worthy of shout. Why is the cursor not playing ball today? Um, uh, oh well, it is, it's all good. If you if you have slung a, a, a dollar in the bucket, I appreciate you greatly because you are great, and I appreciate you. Here's Kimberly Freightmaster. All right, okay. She goes for it straight away. Yardy's going to field that one, and he pings it back to second. First hit of the day for the Fire Chefs. Well, first player not to strike out. Here's Arbogast Flares, arguably their best player. Well, he's the best player we've seen so far. Whether he is their actual best player or not remains to be seen. And we shall see right about now. Chuck one of those. And uh, nothing doing. All right. Okay. All right. Chuck one of, uh, one of these. Good pitch. It's gone skyward. Cookie's going to make a run for it. Cookie. Peaches Wallace has the out. And we're done. There we go. What kind of barbarian drinks beer through a straw? The kind of barbarian that is 17 years of age and has heard that it gets you drunk faster. We all did it. Obviously, you have to be of a certain age to have done that before migrating to snake bite and black. Here's Richard Yardline to lead us off for the day. And it's your first look at Danny Cyanide. Uh, she's accurate. The uh, junk pitches aren't all that. Okay. Our velocity's not all that either. Straight up the middle for Yardy. Now let's evaluate this catcher uh, and see if he's come to party or whether he's come to allow the party to just happen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Catcher's rubbish. Okay. We're out of here. And he's slow. He's flipping. Come on, Yardy. You're flipping. Just, you're supposed to be like blisteringly fast, man. Cindy fouls one off. I mean, take the second strike. Fouls another one off. Okay. Come on, Cindy. Settle in. That one was low. Cindy might just make it in another dimension. Uh, okay. Two outs there. All right. That's fine. Calm down. Let's get a hit. And, uh, well, Cookie is oh, can be relied on to get a hit very often. I'll stop swinging at everything. That'll probably help. Yeah, strike one. Right. That was high, uh, but Cookie let it know who was boss. And in case you can't work it out, it's Cookie. That one was low. Hi. It's because there's not much pace on these pitches. And I am re I'm misreading some of these low ones as being a little higher. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. At the end of one, it's nothing to nothing. Here's Father Tempest, the catcher. Okay, he has had his Sunday dinner. Uh, twice. He had it for breakfast and for lunch. No, inside. I can draw him on that one. Okay. Come on, Rooster. You're doing good work so far, son. Alright, now he's starting to throw balls all over the place. Alright, well, stop that. It's silly. Uh, put that over here. Nice. Oh, come on! That would normally sucker him into a swing. Alright, there you go. There's a real one. Let's do another real one. That's a bit low. But he's gone for it anyway. Lovely times. Good work. Solid effort. And then one of these. Boom! But Yardy has got that one. Alright, fine. Number 41. Okay, here's Eric, the Sea Ape. Uh, he is in a very positive frame of mind right now. His stats don't say that he is, but he is, trust me. And that's, that's how he is. Strike one, bottom edge. Yeah, how do you feel about that, punk? Uh, let's go top edge, a bit high. Unfortunate. Okay, all right. Well, let's put, hit the same place again. Sink in. There you go. And then we'll try him on a change-up. Rooster is a K neglector, but that shouldn't bother us too much. Yeah, do it. Nope, Not low. even close. No. All right, Rooster, stop trying to be clever. Just throw the dull flame neck. Rooster is f having some difficulty finding the target. There you go. All right, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, they're wasting your time a little bit, but that's okay. Good pitch. Third strikeout of the day for Rooster Views, and that gives us Ingrid Matrix, who likes a fastball 
And that means that's what she ain't getting. Really? Do you fancy saying that in English? No. No, I'll, I'll stick with that. Yeah, she ain't getting that. No. No getting of that is going to be had. That's not really swung particularly. No. Uh, okay, put a, put a bit of this in it. It's gone skyward. Cindy says she wants it. And what Cindy wants, Cindy gets. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Chubsy Beaver. Up for BDP. Chubbs the Beaver. Chubbs Beaver. That's his name. That's what he's about. And uh, has he has he got his uh, his magic bat with him today? Or is he not using his magic bats? That's a magic bat kind of a hit. Keep running, Chubbs. Nice work. Mr. Beaver makes it to second. Oh, yeah. All right. Here he comes. It's the cheese. The cheese is in the house. Uh, now, is he going to remain the cheese? Or is he going to play cheese? We'll find out now, actually. Yeah. All right. Yeah, these low, these low pitches, man. That's not bad. It's good enough. And Betty Cheese will make it the first. Chubbs is on third. And BD Peer in scoring position with no outs. And Valerie Hammock deploying the Mind Weevils. Uh, yeah, will the Weevils do their job that they have been commissioned and they hired to do? It's the only reason Val's in the lineup after some fairly catastrophic play from her of late. Uh, she's, uh, she's still got the Mind Weevils and that's what matters. That's a good hit and that'll be the opening run of the day. Valerie Hammock to first. Benny crosses the line and BDP take the lead. The catcher, number 27. <clears throat> it's Bernard Dunk, everybody. Hero, villain, villain hero, floppy haired idiot, or majestically maimed saviour? Well, it's Bernard Dunk and we're going to find out. Floppy haired idiot. Well, that's only a double play. We still have a runner on third. If Coral can just tip one in here, chip one in, uh, spank one in, whatever she needs to do to it, one in is what we're hoping for. And uh, with a bit of luck, we'll get it. Let's go. Whoa, no, 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 no. That's out. I, I knew already that I should not have swung at that and yet there it is at the end of two oh, BDP man. lead one to nothing but uh, I mean they were starting to look competent but then stopped because they thought oh no let's not rub it in uh, here's Earl Blackfinger and uh, Rooster likes what he looks at <laughs> you swung at a perfectly good pitch there son and missed I mean, fouling one off, we can live with. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you made a total dog's dinner of that. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. He is slow. Well, that just means he's not going to steal. But, I mean, you know, given that they always manage to steal against us, who, who knows? Here's Danny Cyanide. She's quick if she can get to base. But, I mean, as a pitcher, she's not much on the, uh, on the hitting. But that doesn't mean anything. No, you're not. You're going to try and bunt with that slow oaf on first. You crazy. Yeah. She keeps showing bunt. Yeah. Well, let's let's put something in too high to bunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now what you're going to do. Yeah. Uh, keep putting him in too high. That, well, you're not, you're not fooling anybody with that. No. Uh, sort of there. To, no, no. You, you've got to convince her that the ball's actually doing a thing. All right. Well, let's uh, let's bang a slider into the. That, that'll do it. That's not the plan at all. Just get the one. Okay. Out number one. The center field. Back round and its Duke Spongy form is up again. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Rooster having, uh, he's had to pitch 35 already today, and that's more than you'd like, especially given 
how few hits we've given up over the course of the uh, over the course of the couple of innings we've played. But it's only, it's okay. It's early door. Well, it's the third inning. You're doing all right. Don't listen to the man, Rooster. You're doing fine. Yeah, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Hammock with a jump. That's a big hit, and that's going to be a run. Coral will throw it out to third. <clears throat> but there's the tying run for the Fire Chefs. This ah, Sammy vacuum, and uh, and Rooster needs to get back into the swing of things. That's that's not that's not it, Roost. Peaches has a jump but doesn't get it, and that's a home run. I think that I think we put that one on the pitching, and that's Sammy Vacuum's first home run of the season. Oh dear! Yeah, here comes Kimberly Flight Frank from Freightmaster. Is that her name? Yeah, it is. You can mispronounce it as often as you like, as long as you get there in the end. Okay. Yeah. That could be. No, it's not. All right, let's go. Just ping that one off. What are you going to do with this now? Oh, don't be... Yeah, Rooster's sad. Uh, don't be sad, Rooster. I need your stats to stay compelling for a while. That one's chipped off. Yeah, yeah. Just put them in there. That one's gone to the cheese. Who has, has to run for it, but uh, we get the out. Well, that's something. Yeah. <clears throat> Arbogast flares. He looks good on paper. The end. Right. Roost. That's not the way to pitch, man. It's just not the way to do it. Let's keep him up and out a bit. That's more like it. Coral. You got it or what? Well done. Okay. All right. Okay. That could have been worse. Uh, but we could have batted better on the last inning. Uh, still, here comes Rooster. He's coming for a bat. Yeah. Take your time, son. Take your time. There's no hurry here. Uh, we shouldn't have to drain this picture too much. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Flipping it, Rooster. All right, fine. Swing at a low one. Will you stop sling? Swing at flipping low. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was Rooster and therefore, you know, hardly likely to get on base anyway. It's just, you know... The interface between controller and player is uh, is misjudging these things a little. Uh, strike two? I don't think so. And Yardline will not make it this time. Yeah, you see, you had your good at bat and you wasted it. Uh, two outs now. Here comes Cindy. <clears throat> i got a feeling we might see some big play from Cindy today. Uh, not necessarily in this game, but I got a feeling she's o she's overdue a spectacular game. That's not going to be it. It's not long enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. At the end of three, the chefs have taken the lead. It is three nothing, and uh, we're looking at Father Tempest uh, to come in and uh, you know carefully tries to ease his bulk around the bat in order to potentially swing it. Strike. It's a bit harsh. Yep. That's baseball. Strike. Oh, what a pitch. That was an absolute belter there from Brewster. That's not bad either. Another strikeout for the views. Good lad. Here's Eric the Sea Ape. Okay, Rooster's back into his head again. He's gone, oh, I can play after all. Yes, Rooster. Yes, you can. Uh, that one's a bit wide. No. Yeah. All right, this one. Staying topside? Not really, no. Okay, it's all right. He's found it off. It's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's a nice pitch. That's a strike. All right. You think he'll go for it? I think there's a fighting chance he goes for it. Okay. Nice. Viewsy gets another one. Good lad. Here's Ingrid Matrix. Uh, she likes the fast balls. And so we'll probably throw one just to go like, go on in, hit it. You anticipated the first pitch slider. Okay, I will, I'll, I'll throw another one then. See if you anticipate that. This one, though, I'll try and get it on. Never mind. 
Yeah. All right. This one, though, I'll get on target. That's three in a row. Ah, see? You couldn't possibly hope to hit that. Bit of a sinker there on the inside. Chubbs? It's a bit high for Chubbs. He doesn't quite get there. Cora will yeet that one into second. Okay, base hits. Uh, Earl Blackfinger to try and capitalise. Uh, capitalise. Present tense. Yeah. I don't know. This is this is all live. Well, I mean, as much as as much as it can be. What does that mean? <clears throat> you figure it out. Uh, right, straight down the middle. Bold. Uh, the cheese is there. Cindy's there. Everyone, everyone wants it, but the cheese runs all the way over from second to make the catch there, and uh, no further damage has been inflicted on BDP's pride. Okay. All right. Oh, Eric the Sea Ape is actually commenting on his own performance in the chat. That's nice to see. Here's Cookie the Peaches Wallace. Didn't accomplish anything first time around. But that doesn't matter. Bang! Caught. All right, Cookie. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we go for those first pitches. But why? Why even bother? Back to Chubbs Beaver. <clears throat> Who has, of course, led to our only run so far. Uh, is he going to do it again? Surprising Chubbs Beaver. Not surprising anybody here. No, he's caught out by the shortstop. Here's Benny the Cheese Cheese. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on, the cheese. Let's go. That's it. Take your time. Think it through. Mull it over a little bit. Ruminate before you swing. These low pitches are fed up of them. Well, there you go. It might not be spectacular, but it's good enough to get the cheese on base. And uh, that bling brings up uh, Valerie Hammock. Number 18. All right. Okay. Cheese going to steal. No, he's not. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Val. Come on. Good hit from Valerie Hammock. And that's now runners on one and two. We're going to waste this. Uh, because up next is uh, floppy-haired idiot uh, Bernard Dunk. His batting average now below 400. Which, for a regular baseball team, you go, oh, no, not below 400. But for the bulldozer power, no, no, 400's a starting point. If you can't hit 400, why the hell are you on the team? Right. Because we throw so many runs away. Oh, dear me. I thought it was sinking a bit more. I thought it had a little bit of... I, I, I thought it had a late dip come in. It did not. <sighs> At the end of four, it is the Fire Chefs. Three. Bulldozer Power. One. Danny Cyanide up to bat. Number 18. Plenty of game left. Plenty of game. And we are hitting. That's the bit we care about. No, seriously. That's the bit... It really is the bit we care about. If we're hitting, we can come back. Oh, Danny, you have you have left yourself open to the two fasts. Yep. All right, there's two fasts, and here's a here's a sucker punch. Didn't even swing. Didn't even swing. She's gone. His spongy form got himself a double, and uh, I'm sure he feels quite pleased about that. But he shouldn't, because uh, against us, everybody hits a double. Flipping that good hit. Cookie Peaches Wallace with a magnificent diving catch. What a play. What a play. My goodness me. I didn't. Th I thought that was going to bounce over her glove and uh, head out for a double. Uh, but no, she makes a play of the game so far. Uh, excellent work. Nice pitch. That one's gone skyward, and I think Cookie's going to be in, in order to... You've got to catch this. Oh, I thought it was going over her head, uh, but instead we've given up a triple. It's not the end of the world. Would she have had it by default? I don't know. It was the right call. It was the right call, even though it ended up being a really big number of bases we gave up. Okay, well, you just got to get this person out here. Who is it? Is it Kimberly? It is. Uh, got to get her at the plate or on the run or from a hit. Just don't let her get on base, basically. In fact, you could walk her. That would be allowed, but you shouldn't. 
All right, good pick. Strike two. Now what? Uh, stick in a uh, a low angled one of them. No, wasn't low enough. All right, and then a low angled one of these. That's better. Nope. Okay, and then you've pitched seventy. Goodness me, Rooster. That's good. No, it's not. Ah, there's the run. Dagnamit. Now back, the third baseman, number five. Um, well, Arbogast Flares is up. They've got a runner on first. They have two outs. Uh, but that triple, I mean, unsurprisingly, that triple gave oh, us uh, oh, another, another run there for the chefs. And uh, Rooster's side. starting to tire ever so slightly. But we can... We can hang him in here for this inning. I'd like to take him out at his next at bat, ideally. That's a good that's a good pitch, but it didn't come off. And that'll be the first hit of the day for uh, Arbogast. Runners now at the corners. Come on, BDP. One bit of defense. Get this fat oaf out. Come on, get him. Go on. All right, nice. Come on. Nice again. No, it didn't bite. Okay. Uh, slide it top side. No. Nope. Slide it bottom side. Slide it bottom side. Better. Chubsy. Good fielding from Chubbs. And that's the third out. Not before we gave up another run, which means we now need to do some scoring. Uh, Coral will be first up to bat. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, come on, Coral. Base hit, please. Or beyond. Or a walk. I don't care at this point. Not fast. Swung early. Not a lot of pitch on... Not a lot of the pace on these pitches, I was going to say. Straight up the middle. Nice one, Coral. That will do you grand. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, there's Rooster. Sit down, Rooster. You've done enough for today. Uh, sub him. Yeah. Who is it? It's Reverend Joe. Because, of course, it's Reverend Joe. Because uh, Reverend Joe gets a bonus when he's pinch hitting, you see? Which he is now doing. See how he pinches it? Pinchy, pinchy, pinch. Yeah. All right, Joe. If you knock this one over the fence, then we're glorious. Uh, if you don't, well, okay. There's ball three. A walk will suffice. And there's ball four. Reverend Joe is getting going, and that's all good. Here comes Yardy. Good at his first at bat. Rubbish with his second. Uh, the pressure is mounting. We do need to get something going here. Danny Cyanide still looks pretty fit at this point. It's 50 pitches deep into the day. Yeah, I didn't think so. See, that's the problem I with these low pitches. Strike two, ball two. Yardy waiting for something solid. That'll do it, but it's not good. One, and... Yardline giving up the double play. Runner on third, just relying on Cindy to get a base hit. You know, Cindy, that thing that you were renowned for doing? You know, that thing you were good at? Once upon it, never mind. Well, that was a colossal waste of everybody's time. Right, get off again, Joe. No, you know. I mean, you were good, but, I mean, it didn't work. All right, Jeff is uh, low on stamina. Bert is low on stamina. Santino is not at full stamina. Homer Wobbleboard, though. Oh, dear me. All right. We'll do a couple of innings of Wobbleboard and see how bad things can be, because he's not accurate. Uh, as long as... We don't go too far into the, uh, my goodness me, he's not very accurate kind of school of thought. We should be golden. That one's oh, off target. Yeah. Try it again. All right. That one's off target. Yeah, okay. Come on, Homer. Keep, stick with the curves, man. That one's off target. But we got a swing out of him, so that's something. All right. You're only a reliever, Homer. You can't throw 500 pitches and expect to get away with it. There's ball three. All right, down the middle we go. All right, yeah, good. And this time, down the middle. I don't want to walk him. Well, okay then. Wobbleboard pulling out a strike there. Strike out, even. Uh, and that's uh, the first out. 
Here's Ingrid Matrix. I don't know. I'm as surprised as you are. Uh, we'll go too, too fast and a bendy. See if it works. There we go. Right. Yeah. And uh, a bit of a two-seamer. A little bit higher up. It's reasonable. Good. Fouled off is fine. I can live with fouled off all day. Right there. Right here. Two for two for Homer. Oh, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Number 10. Okay, here comes Earl the Blackfinger. And uh, he's looking solid. Yeah. Because there's a lot of him. You wouldn't want to fight him in uh, amateur sumo wrestling. No, the rules really, you know, they really don't work in your favor in those cases. Try it. That's all over the place. Yeah, no, that wasn't it. No. Try this one. That's not where I wanted it. Still got the job done. <laughs> He's going, yeah, I was expecting it down there. I go, me too. Uh, didn't didn't end up there. But that's three strikeouts in a row for Homer Wobbleboard. Good job, Homer Wobbleboard. He had a rough start with the team, getting injured in his second game for us. Uh, and then spending forever out injured. I should have cut him. Yeah, I, I know, but he just played well. Yeah, I know, but I mean, strategically speaking, I should have I should have traded him. Cookie, no, not on that, uh, not on the merits of that one. You don't, not with that attitude. His chubs. All right, he had that really great first play, but uh, since then, he's only had one go. Nope, chubs has gone as well. It's these off-tempo pitches, I tell you, you're swinging at the wrong time, and they're going wrong. Well, it falls to Benny Cheese to try and turn anything into something. No. Oh, Benwood. Yeah. Well, that was quick. <laughs> At the end of six, BDP trail 4-1 with no sign of any kind of a recovery at the moment. Danny Cyanide up to pitch, up to bat. Well, she could do what she likes. She's getting away with it. They're going to keep her in as long as they're leading. And that works in my favour because it means that we can have one inning where we absolutely rain hell all over them before they pull her out. That's my plan. She struck out as well. That's four in a row. The wobble board. Oh, so easily underestimated by everybody, including me. Uh, good pitch. Yeah, okay. Now what? Oh, I don't know. I've got no... I wasn't expecting that one to work. Right, okay, try that. That's a good pitch as well. Come on, Homer. If you can get this one on target, we've got him. It's a bit high. Five in a row, Homer Wobbleboard. Number 30. I'm putting I'm putting that one out there. He's uh, he's killing it. Alright, this guy likes the first pitch. Alright, well we'll put the first pitch somewhere. Terrible. There you go. Alright. It's not the first pitch anymore, clown. Cindy has it, but she's going to need to get back. No, that's fine. The wobble board comes over and makes the tag. Fantastic bit of defense there. Fantastic. Now then, Valerie Hammock, please, will you start us brightly with your 382 batting average? Come on. Let's go. On base for Val Hammock. All right. No. My timing's wrong. My timing is wrong for these pitches. And I couldn't I couldn't honestly tell you why. It just is. Yeah, I know. I mean it's a good it's a good technical sounding excuse. Well it, it doesn't excuse anything. It's more of a it's a rationale as to why we're getting dunked on. Alright, well that's two outs. Floppy head idiot got out. Here's Coral. And once again. We're uh, we're in a position we don't want to be in. Yeah, that's more like it. Might get caught, but it's more like it. <sighs> At the end of seven, chefs four, Biddy P one. Ugh. Okay, yeah. The freight master up to bat. Can Homie wobble board keep up his run of uh, excellence? Or will it all come crashing down to earth? That's a strike and a half, my friend. Lovely, lovely pitch. Just that one, though. Sucked. All right, okay. Just throw some stuff. 
All right. Yeah. I'm throwing some stuff. Okay. Throw some stuff. Nah, that's nice. Okay. And then do exactly the same place. All right. Exactly the same result. Okay. Uh, and then wild variants. Instead of going out, let's stay in. High and drop in. Yeah, there we go. Strike out number six for Wobblers. Whoop-whoop. That's a uh, whoop -hoom. Feel free to have a swing at uh, spelling that one out. Here comes Arbogast Flares. All right. Okay. All right. Wobblers. Nice. Okay. How much energy he's got left? He's got this inning, and then we can uh, we can close pitch on the next one. Beautiful pitching. Oh, my goodness. That was poetry. Yeah. What about this one? Not poetry. Chubbs, full shorts. Flares gets on base. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Now, I can't blame battery lag. I've got a wire. I know better than to use anything with batteries. Batteries to tosh. Wireless controllers can get out. Here's Father Tempest. Runner on first. One out here at the top of the eighth. And uh, Homer Wobbleboard has been coming off a very nice run of fortune. But uh, that appears to be over now. <laughs> <laughs> as another runner makes it to base. Okay, runners first and second. Eric Messier hates himself. Oh, Homer. No, no, Eric. Oh, Homer. All right, oh, Homer. Yeah. Start with one of these. That's a bit low. That was a bit low. Homer, would you get these people out, please, so I can substitute you? There you go. Right, now. And then, well, I'll throw something else. Like that? That's lovely. Alright, good. And then what are you going to do with this last one? Well, something they won't expect. Yeah, whether they expect it or not is largely irrelevant. You still hit it. Double play is an option. Roger that. Nice pitch. Valerie to second, to first. Booyah! There's the double. Good stuff. Foy! That was getting a bit chancy. Getting a bit chancy. All right. Need to score. Homer's up to bat. Homer's sitting down. All right. Who's in? Partisan? Well, she can slap it hard, but I'm not sure she'll slap it well. Worthless. Yeah. Shandy Worthless is on the field. As you know already, he leads the team with home runs this season. And it would be pretty typical for him to hit one now when the bases aren't loaded but he gets a single instead so i mean okay it's better than nothing here comes yard line whose mood is off no oh, they've taken cyanide out they're bringing in juan summoner uh the closer to try and finish us off that's confidence for you yeah danny had another inning in her easy i know but summoner's pretty good yeah that's not a strike Yeah, that one, though, fouled off because it was moving slow. That one's a ball. Okay. Come on, Richard. Let's go. Oh! Hey! Oh, boy. Oh, I even felt that it was a curve. But I didn't think it would curve that much. Flaming it. That was a savage. Uh, all right. Okay, Cindy. Wait him out a little bit. He's a closer. If they have to sub him, we might end up with someone a little bit more... Uh, you know, who doesn't have a curveball that is blessed by Satan. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, that one had some zing on it. What is... What's happening? Your tip... Sorry, I need to take a moment. Uh, me swinging at bad pitches, it happens, right? Me swinging and missing good pitches happens rarely, right? Me completely failing to make contact three times in a row with Cindy. Sorry, I'm also a bit warm. Uh, that's that's not a thing. That doesn't happen. That's not real. That's oh my! What what is even happening? I don't know. I don't know. What was what was that? <sighs> uh, I no, I couldn't explain it. I don't. I, <laughs> I genuinely can't explain how I missed three. You know, fouling one off, hitting a stupid pitch. Uh, but no, that made no sense. Strike two. In what country? 
All right, there we go. Good. Made contact. Gets on base. That's the ticket. That's the stuff. That's the winner. Right. Two on base. Cool. All right. It's Chubbs. Chubbs, you've got two home runs this season. You fancy adding a third? Because if you do, this game just became really exciting. You swung too soon, son. Swung too early. No, no, no. No, you should have let that one go. Warn the guy out. Oh, never mind. It's all... It's all toast now. Are you gonna, what are you going to finish this off with? Let's bring on Quebec. Um, at the end of eight, it's still 4-1. After some of the worst batting from me ever. Wow. Yeah. Just wow. I just utterly, I've just been utterly foxed by both pitchers. Um, right, okay. Ingrid Matrix. No, I haven't changed the settings or anything like that. No, I was just, I was just foxed. All right, come on, Quebec. See if you can do as well as Wobbler did. It'd be nice if you could. That's good. Oh, you like hitting fastballs. Well, you've had your chance, because here comes the curve. There you go. And my pitching game has been on point. <laughs> what is even happening? Uh, here's old ba Blackfinger. All right, oh. Uh, what are we going well, for with him? Let's try the opposite. Okay. We'll try and get them on target. There you go. We don't want to waste them. That's fine. Fouls are fine. Alright, here we go. A bit low. We got the magic, though. Got the magic. There's the magic. Alright, is their pitcher. Are they taking him out? No, they're keeping him in. Foolish! Okay, alright. Well, you can have two curves and a uh, fastball as well, then. Three curves. No, no, that was on target. Because it's Quebec Spire you're talking to. Right. No, you, you couldn't hit it when it was straight down the middle. Oh, right. Lovely. Crikey. Yeah, got their eye in all of a sudden. All right. Well, two strikeouts and then the closing pitcher gets a hit. His closing pitcher is... I mean, I would say he's had his Weetabix, but I think he's had somebody else's Weetabix, and I think those have been laced with illicit substances. Oh, no! <laughs> this game's over. Yeah. Just crikey. Is it possible to have a stroke in your fingers? It, they're doing what I'm telling them. That's the, that was what makes it even worse. I mean, you know, you can set it with judgments off. And, uh, and I've been swinging at that slow pitches from Danny Cyanide all day. Uh, which possibly didn't help. You know, when we come across an actual halfway decent pitcher. But, uh, no, it's, it's not good. Right, we need five. Five is the score. And what we need is five. And if we get five... This game just Number became amazing. 48. Well, we're starting with the cheese, and this will tell us a lot about how this inning is going to go. That's a strike. All right, strike one. There was a lot of dip on the end of that. That's down. Okay, yeah. Cheese? No. No, nothing. No, nothing Nothing going for the cheese. Valerie Hammercup next. This picture is, ty is tiring out rapidly. So we will try and... I don't know why. Why even... Never mind. We can't be good. Be quick. We're not going to get five runs with Bernard Dunk leading the way. You reckon? We're not. It's just not going to happen. Wasn't a strike. Oh, come off it. All right. Well, Dunk gets a hit. Big whoop all round. No. Just... Just no. Okay, those of you who bet on a double victory for BDP, you may now go, well, I didn't quite get that right. Here's Coral. Stick it over the fence, Coral, and then maybe we're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a late swing on my part, but I think she might have got away with it. She has got away with it. Uh, and that gives us runners on second and third. Still a long way from being in this. Here's Quebec, who's going to go and sit down. All right. Okay. Who are you bringing in? I might be Johnny Touchdown. Uh, uh, Terry Partisan's a fence hitter. Yeah. Johnny Touchdown gets a hit. Uh, and he's pinch perfect. Oh, he's pinch perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on, Touchdown. Let's rock. Number 
Just get a base hit. Or more. More is certainly allowed. No. Just short of the fence. But that's your lot. BDP deservedly losing that one. Dear me. Mitch is going out with his wife for her birthday. Good work. I hope uh, game two comes good. <laughs> eh, mm, uh, okay. All right. Let's put that behind us. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mitch. Uh, yeah, no. Good. Yeah. Hope you have a lovely time. Mitch, behave yourself. It's Remember, it's her evening. Behave yourself. Uh, good. Right, no, let's just put it, put it away. But, I mean, the strikeouts from Homer Wobbleboard there. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Killed by home runs. Well, we're always killed by home runs. Um, but that's how the game is played and how they're scored. Uh, win for Danny Cyanide. She didn't deserve that. No. But she won the game, so arguably she she gets in the stars of the day. That's a mystery. Duke Sponge form number one. Sammy vacuum number two. Okay. All right. Okay. Never mind. All right. Whoo. Yeah. Quebec Spire or Terry Partizan. One of them's going to hate me. It's going to be Terry Partizan. There we go. I don't care why. Uh, oh, oh, here's another one. Oh, oh, who hates me more? Is it Bubbles or is it Val? It's going to be Val. There you go. You hate me as well. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Ah, oh, that made me feel better about everything. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get these games done. There's 15 to go. Simulate them. I'll even let you watch them. Raiders, Pirates. Raiders have got some money. And win it. Uh, Steganauts, Voo Voo Boys. Uh, the Voo Voo Boys starting strongly, but the Steganauts are too mighty. Uh, the Wizards are taking on Stardozer. It goes to extra innings, and the Wizards have it. Has had, put your tenses in the right order and it all kind of works there. Uh, budget, Toy Masters. Toy Masters win. Pathfinders against the Minstrels and the Minstrels take the lead and hold it and victory. The Bumps and Medics now against the Axemen. Neither team in contention, so it doesn't really matter. Here come the Beekeepers and they're currently top of their division against the Chroniclers and they lose against the Chroniclers. Not that it really makes any difference to the Beekeepers who are the powerhouse of the league right now. Sea Raiders going to win over Sports Ball Union. Nomads now taking on Shady Palms. And the Nomads have got something. Uh, Space Agency up against the Pirates. Neither team can make it to the playoffs, and so they don't. The Sunshine Fun Bus against Failywood Hills. Failywood Hills need the win, and they don't get it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. The Miners against the Pathfinders. Pathfinders managed to claw it uh, in order to keep their lead in the Whoop Whoop. The Toy Masters against Cheerio. Cheerio don't need the win particularly, but it would be helpful to them. Uh, Steganauts Grunt Auto Group has gone to Grunt Auto Group. They're already in the playoffs. I don't know why they're even bothering. Um, but there it is. There you are. There you go. Next game is up. And pitching for us is... Oh, dear. It's Richard Boom. Uh, pitching for the Fire Chefs, though, is Betsy Cthulhu. Okay. All right. We might make some changes in this game. We might. I can't. I can't say for sure. Yardy. I want to keep you in, son. But I can't justify it if you're going to play like you did in the last game. Dunk, sit down. Uh, yeah, I'm bringing in flipping Julius flipping hardware uh, just because I hate him. Okay. Uh, right. <clears throat> Talk to me about batting order. Yeah, I know. It's tempting to put Chubbs Beaver up first. No, you've got to get you've got to have a sprinter up first, and that means it's either Cindy or it's Yardy. Uh, Cindy, good speed. Yardy, not quite as good speed. Cindy, go top. Okay, right. Yeah, I know you don't like being first in the batting order, but given that you didn't play well in this inning either, uh, then you know what you're going to do. Uh, on the odds that we go three and out, we'll put Yardy in fourth, so we get to try the gambit again in the second inning big brain moves whether or not they they come off is anybody's guess let's rock and flame and roll <sighs> second home game in a row and we need to turn this into a victory please i don't want to lose both do not want to lose 
both. Would you ever think about doing a BDP All-Stars team with Dez and Kojak and Bam Bam and all the rest? That's last season. <laughs> that's, that's when life was good uh, of having the All-Stars. The problem is you can't have Bam Bam and Kojak on the same team because they both play shortstop. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just you just can't. No there, there, there are too many crossover position players. Um, not a massive number, but quite a few. And then you'd lose uh, the fan favourites from from this season. I mean, I don't, I can't see anybody going. Yeah, get rid of Chubbs Beaver. They kind of go. Yeah, I know exactly right. Everyone loves Chubbs Beaver for a while. Shandy Worthless was beloved as well. Not anymore. No, because he's worthless these days. Yeah. Getting subbed was the best thing that could have happened to him. Getting beaten to death by the coach with a baseball bat is what he should have expected. Yeah, you're out. Go and sit down. You look pretty cool, though. I uh, don't even know who that was. It's Kimberly Freightmaster. All right, Kim. How did she do in the last game? None of them had a particularly spectacular game. They just won. Okay? It wasn't, you know, there wasn't anything particularly magical in their result. Uh, boom there. Doing pretty well with the first two. Now, he's not a fastball thrower, but he throws the fastball. Val makes a jump, but doesn't get it. Yeah. If only she was as tall as her sister, then she would have had a chance. Here's Mindy Bleach, uh, who did not play in the, in the first game. You're going, I don't, I don't know this person. That's because she didn't play. They brought her in. I don't know why, but they have. Her numbers aren't that stellar, and uh, she's only batting 175 this season. But she's playing me now, so... I mean, her dreams could come true. Although she's going to have to hit something on target to uh, to have any kind of dreams. True or otherwise. That's very swervy. That one's only going out as far as Coral. Who goes, thank you very much. And chucks it into second. Now batting. The third base... Kojak was first base. No, I'm not so sure she is. she was. I think she switched to first base because she was an infield, uh, an infield specialist. She definitely played first base at some point, though. I can't deny that. I'd have to go back and check the tape. Yeah, someone played shortstop. I, I know there was some conflict at shortstop because Kojak came in to replace Bam Bam after Bam Bam got traded. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't honestly. Couldn't honestly tell you. It's a long time ago. We'll pick it up then. There you go. All right. There's out number three. There's a baseball game going on while we reminisce over people and stuff and things. Uh, any chance of another collaboration with Moz in the off season? Never say never. Uh, it's but it's time. Time is the issue that uh, matters more than anything else, and the fact that I'm only available very strangely. Uh, so as a one-off, maybe. Here comes Cindy. All right, Cind. Who's throwing? Uh, Betsy Cthulhu. Okay. Yeah, she's missed a couple. Yeah, I know, but she won't continue missing them, though. Surely that's low. All right, ball three. Yeah. We'll ride that one. Okay. And then... It's a... Uh, well, you made connection with it, but you're out. Okay. All right, fine. Nothing from Cindy. All right, Cookie, what you got? Goes for it straight away. This one might have the mileage. It doesn't. Uh, Cookie having a slump. Okay, come on, Chubbs. Maybe you can... Maybe you can turn on a shine. In fact, it might actually be better for us if you get out, but don't. Strike two. No, that was me deciding to swing late and then swing at nothing. Right. Okay. Get your head in, you flipping batting. Yeah, bad batting there for the last two. That was me. That was all me. Can't blame anyone. I've been I've been tilted and now I'm tilty. All right. Just so. Miss Spongiform. Facing off against the mighty Richard Boom. Okay. Come on, mighty Richard Boom. Do the thing. Good pitch. All right. Now, let's bring out your legendary uh, junk pitching. He's got an elite curveball. How elite? I hear you cry. Uh, let's have a look. 
Good pitch. Oh, come on. That was beautiful. That was the stuff that poems are written about. If the poems are about bendy baseball pitching. Anyway, that was that much. Right, here's Ingrid Matrix. She likes a fastball, so we won't give her any of those. Especially since he's not very good at throwing them in the first place. Do two like that, and then one that does elite curveball. That didn't work. Just throw anything. Okay. Look, because when it comes down to it, we ain't going to win unless we can actually hit the flipping thing. So... Oh, not again. Anyone? Anyone at all? Look, boom. You clown. If the ball comes at you dribbling along the floor, just pick it up. Uh, that's a run. Uh, runner, rather. Uh, here's uh, Earl Blackfinger. They're probably going to try stealing about now. I would. They've got a fast runner, and Julius Hardware has a... Uh, an arm made out of a flipping craft cheese slice. Yeah, it's very wobbly. That's once. It's not very. It's not road, but there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I knew it was coming. They've just gone. Oh, hold on. This guy can't throw worth a damn. Yeah, yeah, I know. Woof! Big hits. Coral's got it though. What well, a Coral! All right, two outs. Yep. This pony genocide. <laughs> That's a name to conjure with. Uh, right. Yeah. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there's the steal. They're going to get away with it, obviously. Yeah. Alright. Come on, keep keep throwing it. Ball two. What's the strike count? One. Okay. Keep it tops. It's gone up. Yardy's in the same country. Catch the flipping thing, Yardy. There you go. Alright, okay. Cool. That could that could have been a lot worse. Uh, right, here's here is Richard Yardline. Hoping to make amends for the last game. Make amends for the last game. The entire team rests on your ability to do your thing, Mr. Yardline. If you'd be so kind. No! I know what I did. Yeah. I started to swing at it before it had even started moving. Why am I misfiring? I don't know. I don't, that's mentally. I'm mentally misfiring. Yeah. I've got, a, I've got judgment impedance. That was nothing wrong with that. That, that one, legit, happens to be out. But there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's okay. Right, okay. Come on, Val. Just get your hitting mojo back again. Not you, me. I've just... <laughs> that's better. It's going to be caught, but that's... It's... it's The timing and judgment had, has been a bit... a bit. Biorhythms all over the place, you know? Anyway, at the end of two, it's nil-nil. Yeah, too much... Too much pre-visualisation. Uh, and not enough responding to the moment. Yarders. Good lad. Now batting, okay. Field, number 30. All right, here's Sammy Vacuum. Yeah. All right. Just don't sweat it. Nope, there you go. All right, just just play the game. There's no pressure. You're not you're not in line for anything. You're just playing the game for the joy of playing it. Oh, yeah, that old thing. Yeah, that old thing. Yeah, just have have good times and uh, and frolic some frolic some baseball play. Yeah, I'd love this one to be close. Well, it is at the moment because you can't hit with a damn. Uh, Benny makes a catch. Nice, 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 nice. Number nine. Whew. Here's Kim Frankmaster. She got on base last time around, but no one scored yet, so the damage wasn't really done. I've thrown 40 pitches here in the third. Yeah, that's about normal, but I should have both of my primary relievers uh, good to go. And uh, Santino will definitely be good to go. And I think Bert is about fit as well. So that's fine. 
a little more efficiency wouldn't hurt, but at the end of the day, we've got plenty of relievers, only two games to play, including this one. That's out number three. Okay. Can Julie Hardware bring us back into the light and further? Yes, he's batting 429, but I haven't let him bat very much, so that doesn't count. Okay. I think he also had some at-bats before joining us. Nope, there's that one again. Yeah. No, that was intentional. I'm calling out now where I'm not batting like me. Uh, but that one was judged and swung like me. It was just a slower pitch than I was anticipating. That's more like it, though. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now follow it up. Come on, boomers. Let's rock. Let's go, go, go. That's the stuff. Okay, runners first and second. One out. This can all fall apart if Cindy can't make it happen. But I believe in Cindy. And I said before, I was half expecting a good game out of one of the two today. But the first one was not good. No. So that would rely on this one then. Yeah. Good hit. Great hit. A double from Cindy. And that'll get the first run of the afternoon. Could have gone for two. Felt a bit dicey to do so. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. She's feeling very confident. All right. Well, don't worry about being confident. Just uh, a little tappy tap tap of a hit will do nicely. All right. Yeah. Ball one. Ball two. All right. Come on. Ball three. There you go. There's the walk. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. Chubbs. Reliability Beaver. Yep. Could be jinxing him and saying that. But I don't think I am. Oh, he's going to be caught. Everybody back. Everybody back. Everybody back. Everybody back. Oh, Chubbs. Good. Good. When you, whenever Chubbs is motivated, he always swings for the fence. And he just doesn't realise that he hasn't got fence distance swinging in him. It's not his thing. Anyway, this falls to yard line to try and avoid bases loaded turning into big sadness. Anyway, there's some big sadness. Shucks. Oh, well, we got the run at the end of three. BDP one and uh, the fire chefs and nothing. All right. Okay. Uh, here's Mindy Bleach. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Strike one. That's a good pitch. Anytime you can pull a swoosh is a good thing. That's nice. And it's foul. Okay. All right. Where are you going? Uh, one of those, because you're good at them. Put it over here. Beautiful. Nope. Okay. All right. Next. Yeah, yeah. Try one of these. That's okay. It only looks like it's going a long way. It isn't. Hey. All right. Good work. Here's Arbogast Flares. One out. Uh, top of the fourth. 50 pitches on the day for Richard Boom so far. All right. Yep. Yeah, good. Yep. Yeah, that's good too. And then what? Hine away, high and inside. Yeah. Yeah, no, you see, he's got he's gonna have a big hit zone, you see. So even if you fox him a little bit, you've got to fox him a ton to get him to swing and a miss. Like that. So he even made contact with that one. Because his his stats are so high, he's gonna be able to hit just about anything. Unless he gets it wrong on the timing. Cookie, you gonna get there this week? Dive! Not this time. Okay, alright, yeah. Just keep throwing them. That's good. There you go. Chubbs over the first, and that's the second out. Alright, cool, 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 cool. 
cool. Duke spongy form. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Go. Chubbs is late. <laughs> I mean, bless him for trying, but it just doesn't work. No. Ingrid Matrix. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Good pitch. Alright. Uh, same again. Bad pitch. Okay. Yeah, she likes fastballs. Stay away from fastballs. All right. Because it's about that time that the game's going to go, you know what we need right now to liven this game up is to give the computer team a home run. That would make the player so much more engaged, don't you think? Oh, yeah, I really do think. Yeah. Yardy will toss that one over to third. All right, now runners first and second. There's still two outs. Here at the top of the fourth is old Blackfinger. Hitless so far today. Can we do enough to demolish this uh, this potential rally? Not that they need a rally per se. They only need a run to uh, to go straight back into this thing. That's good. Alright. And now sink his battleship. Well, it hasn't worked, but Chubbs is in the house. There you go, out number three. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. At least you're getting better players next season in the draft. Well, that's that's by no means certain. Uh, we've, got, we've got no guarantees on any front at the current time. We'll find out, most definitely. Here's Benny the Cheese. All right, Ben. Talk to me. That was probably it. Yeah. That, no, 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 that still felt viable. That one wasn't viable. Right. Oh, Benny pips one up. And he's going to go sit down. All right, Val. Come on. Come on. Mind Weevils. Betsy Cthulhu is not that good. Yeah, she's got a good fastball, and that's about it. Everything else is only so-so at best. Strike two. Yeah. Fouled off was a perfectly sensible thing to do there. No, outside. All right, ball two, strike two. That was a high one, Val. What are you thinking? I was thinking it might sink a bit. Why? Why? Where was the evidence that that was something that was going to happen? Julie flipping hardware. Goes, fine, I'll do it. And that's not something that we should ever, we should ever have to consider. Uh, right. And also, you're not stealing anything today. No. Coral likes the first pitch, puts it out there. This is better. We probably won't convert this, but even so, a nice run is a good thing to have. Hold on. Time out. How tired are you, Boom? You're at 50%. What inning are we in? Fourth. Oh, crumbs. I really don't want to take him out now. He's tired. He's not that tired. He's got another inning left in him. You've got two runners on, and Reverend Joe hasn't been used yet. Okay. Let's do it. Come on, Joe. Let's do it. I'm taking a big chance here. I'm gambling a pitcher who had some life left in him on you being able to do the thing. Strike two. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> that was it didn't work it, it didn't didn't work didn't work joe didn't work you can't i mean we can't have magic every time uh here comes jeff the conservative conservative uh, conservative uh. How about it? he's up against uh their catcher of the day pony genocide uh, who has very bad stats but apparently can throw like an absolute freight train which is fast, for those of you who don't know how freight trains throw. Yeah. Val, thank you. Lovely. Super. Two pitches to get that guy. They don't call him the conservative for nothing. Here's Betsy Cthulhu. All right, okay. You're going to work on quick, quick, slow again. Yep. That's my favorite. Okay, yeah. There's the double quick. All right. Card, Jeff. Do it. Shame her. Beautiful. Didn't work. Oh well. 
Still out, though. Still out. Yeah. Now batting. The right uh. field, number 30. Okay. All right. Here's Sammy Vacuum. He thinks he's all that. Uh, he does, does he? Yeah. Make him think it's going for his head. Oh, no, no, no. That ball's inside. All right. Okay. Now then. We're going to go slow, slow, quick here. Or slow, 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 quick. Come on, Jeff. Live up to your name, man. That's better. Alright, okay. Yeah. And a bit of this. Cheese. Good stop. Good throw. Nice out. Alright, well, that worked. Uh, <laughs> here comes Cindy. Alright, we're at the top of the order. Will Cindy Vapid do a Cindy Vapid move? Which is typically gets on first base. Uh, but, I mean, anything beyond that is fabulous. Yeah. Look at the way these climb. No, 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 no. I'm meant to pull this way. Hey ho. Yeah. Cindy's out. Come on, Cookie. That's three. All right. Yeah. That's a strike. Thumbs away. Yeah, thumbs are away. Ball four, take your Cookie gets the walk. All right. Now Super. The Chubbs. All right. Number Chubbs 20. hasn't had a hit yet. Oh. Hasn't had a hit yet. Chubbs hasn't had a hit yet. That's lovely. Oh, it's a double from Chubbs. And that's the ticket right there. Is Cookie fast enough? She's not going to make it. Oh, she's trying anyway. All right. And she makes it. Chubbs there. Adding to the score line. Lovely work, Chubbs. Lovely, lovely work. They're taking Betsy off. Chris Tian is coming in. Okay. Very accurate. Got a great curveball. That's, that's not what you want to see. No. All right. Cricket pitches. All right. Yeah. Better than that sidearm business. Is it? You reckon you're able to judge it any better? Nope. Not on the strength of that. No. That was high. Alright. Two balls. Two strikes. Yeah. Oh! Almost breaks someone's fingers. That's out number two. Could have been worse. Yeah. Here comes Cheese. Alright. Okay. Let's have it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's have at it. Come on, Ben. You know, explain to her your name. I don't know who you're talking about there, but I'll get on base. How's that? All right, solid. Benny's on base. Runners first and second. Two outs. Valerie Hammock, who is also hitless so far today. Take some pitches. Take some pitches. I'm not going to take that many pitches. Naff off. Keep running, everybody. Everybody run. Everybody run. Everybody run. Everybody run. Everybody run. Lovely work. A good double there. And that's another run. Here's Julie Hardware, who is a choker. Well, we don't want to know what he does in his spare time. He's out. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I switched from let's take a couple of pitches. That first pitch felt nice, though. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't really get he didn't really get hold of it. At the end of five, BDP are up. I know, that's surprising to me as well. Three to nothing at the current time. Kimberly Freightmaster up for another swing. And uh, the Conservative eyes it up. Makes his throw. That one's gone skyward. Everybody's converging. Cookie says she wants it. And has it. Now batting. The second base. Number 90. Okay. Good times. Here's Mindy Bleach. Um, right. Yeah. Pitch the ball. Too low. Yeah. How are you looking, Jeff? He's only pitched 12. Well, this will this will be the 12th. Oh. oh, that was that was so zesty. Uh, right. Yeah. One of these. No, no, no. It's too far outside. They won't get suckered on a curve that is hemorrhaging its way outside by a million miles. That's just not how the suckering works. That's how you sucker them, though. Yeah, see, see I'm disgusted with her, sir. She goes, oh, well, that was just devious. He goes, I'm Jeff Conservative. Here's Arbogast Flares. Devious is my middle name. 
Jeff Devious the Conservative Conservative. Jeff the Conservative Devious Conservative. Yep, both work. Right, his business card keeps getting longer. That's, <laughs> that's accurate. Uh, but his, uh, his, his terms on the mound keep getting shorter. There it is again. The Conservative doing what he does best and getting them all out real fast. <laughs> okay. All right. Here comes Coral, who's actually having a halfway decent game. She's only had two at-bats, but she's got singles off both of them. All right, Coral. Take your time. All right. No rush at all. Just ease into the moment. And then make good decisions. The decisions you're making so far are good. Very good, Coral. Stood there for four straight balls. Gets on base. Jeffy, if you want to strike out, son, go for it. But if there's a really nice pitch, then go on, then. Go on. I'll let you. Ball two. I don't think Chris Tian is going to be around very long. No. The Conservative like the looks of Flippinek. He's only got a double. Yeah. And more. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. That's a run batted in for Jeff Conservative. Whoa. He really got, he got hold of that one. That one went places. All right, here's Cindy. Uh, remarkable play. Remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, it's a starter reliever as well. So they've got a little bit more uh, stamina. You missed. All right, come on. That's solid. Oh, yes, it is. Yep, yeah, that's solid. All right. Cindy gets the first. Runners now at the corners. Uh, Cookie's got two walks in today's game. Just, just, just so you know. All right, can you make it three? Oh, it's unlikely. Yeah, but can you? A base hit's another run. Just letting you know, Cookie. Just letting you know, a base hit is another run. All right. Nope. Okay, we'll call that a sacrifice then. That call was put in a little bit late, but it's going to be fine. All right. Okay, Chubsy Beaver. Base is uh, empty apart from Cindy on first. Uh, Chubbs hit a nice double last time around to get us runs off the zero mark of the runs thing. Chubbs, nice hit. Is it? Yep. Yep, just short of the fielder. Excellent work. Is Yardy. He's 0 for 3, is Yardy. He does have nine home runs this season, though, which you wouldn't have thought based on his uh, hitting prowess. But while he was very confident because he was stealing bases in every single game. Oh, that one's gone very high. <laughs> yep. No, forget that one, lads. Back, back to base. Back to base. Back to base. All right. Benny Cheese. We have more scoring available to us. Uh, Benny's one of three. We've got runners on first and second with two outs. Yeah, I knew it was a strike. Yep, just like I knew that one was a ball. Benny, he goes for everything. And he comes away with nothing. So close to being off the fence. Wouldn't have been over, wasn't over the fence. Would have been just off the backboard. That would have been enough for another couple of runs. Uh, but that extends Bordeaux's powers lead at the end of six. Five BDP. Fire chefs. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. No points. Uh, the Swedish judge says no. Do they say no? No, probably no. Yeah. The Conservative continues to be efficient. One pitch, one out. Love it. Here's Ingrid Matrix. She's got a pair of singles in the game so far because she's fond of herself. Uh, but uh, she's facing the Conservative. And that one was a little bit off the mark. That one also, a little bit off the mark. Okay, do another one. Try, try and do one that's off the mark. No. I denied. Beaver has it, throws it, gets it, 
Sweet. Out number two. The left fielder, number ten. Earl Blackfinger is not great. The end. All right. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Oh, but he's going to get on base. Well, that's nice for him. Ah, that'll make him feel so much better about his life and existence overall. Pony Genocide up next. Hasn't succeeded. Uh, is clearly not a regular member of the lineup. You anticipate the curveball. He's only got two different pitches. What are you anticipating anything for? Yes, he's got a change-up, but we don't talk about that. We only use that one in order to be proper devious on, uh, on a strike three opportunity. Like now, for example. Here it comes. The Conservative gets it flipped, pinned on. And that's the ticket. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's Val. Also got a double. We've got a few doubles out of today's game. Uh, I like that. Yeah. They're not going to keep this picture in much longer. No. That said, with your mind weevils at play. Hush now. It looks doubleish, but no. Val unable to capitalise there. His uh, floppy haired idiot face, Julie Hardware. Alright, Julie. Not too much pressure right now. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. Ooh, wicked bounce on that one. Very nice. Julie Hardware gets the first. Here's Coral. Two singles and a walk. Okay. Bye, Chris. In comes Schrollbarts. Uh, what, is, what do we like about Schrollbarts? Anything? He's a straightforward reliever. Okay. And Pony Genocide's going to sit down. They're bringing Father Tempest back in. Unimpressed as they've been with uh, Pony's ability to anything. I could have lit that one up. It just wasn't moving as fast as I thought it was going to. No, outside. Alright, okay. One on one count. Oh, could be dangerous. But isn't. Bit fortunate there. Jeffy Conservative around for another hit. Jeff, sit down. You're starting to get tired. I'm taking you out and bringing in a hitter. You got lucky on that last one. And don't pretend for a moment that's not the case. Shandy Worthless. Okay, runners first and second. One out. Shandy Worthless endeavouring to make a name for himself coming off the bench. That'll do. A base hit there for Worthless, and that's the bases loaded for BDP. Cindy has had an okay game so far. A double, a single. She's batted in a run. A single here would be good. Too early. Yeah, I know. These curves, they move a little bit slower than you're anticipating. Alright. Okay. Alright. Come on. That'll do it. A classic Cindy Vapid single. And that's another one added to the run count. Yes, sirree, Bob. Here comes Cookie. Okay, Cookie. Okay. Okay. The motor is uh, revved up. We have at least got a run out of this inning, and that counts for a lot. Cookie doesn't succeed, but at least it's not a double play. There's another run. Chubbs Beaver now. Two outs, two still on, and leave it to Beaver, because if he gets a hit, that's another one. Exactly the same hit. Yeah. Never mind. It's okay. It's all good. We did well there. But save him. Santino. Yes. Uh, right. At the end of seven, Billy P are up seven to one. No. Seven to nothing. The game is not over. The game is not over. It's not over yet. How about oh. the catcher? ASMR Number 14. Baseball. Here's Father Tempest. Uh, brought in because they lacked faith in Pony Genocide. Uh, justifiably so, because he hadn't played well in the slightest. All right, okay. Santino Bananas is great at a junk pitch. He's not so great at a fastball, which is why we're doing them first. That's a curious pitch. Is it good enough? It is. Out number one. How batting? The right field. Ooh. Number 30. All right, here's Sammy Vacuum. Okay. 
keep it inside, threaten his kneecaps, fire in the hole. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Stick with the fastballs. Stick with the fastballs. Doesn't this guy like fastballs? No, he likes first pitch. Well, he's had the first and the second now, and he's uh, swung at both. No. Nah, it's because it, is he good? Yeah, he is good. He's got good contact, so even if you're throwing slightly wonky, he'll still make contact, but not this one. Banana's there with a strikeout. It's a thing of beauty. Here's Kimberly Freightmaster, and they're already at two outs in this inning. They're going to start making desperation substitutions before too long. Uh, but I look forward to that. Yep, that's a strike. Yeah, that was a strike. This one. Val. Got it. Super. Excellent. Brilliant. Excellent. Super. Yeah. And time is running out for the fire chefs to turn this one around. Time is also running out for Richard Yardline to get a flipping hit. Come on, son. This is your fifth at bat of the day. I think you're the only person on the team without a hit. That's not it. No. It was too slow. I was expecting a faster pitch. Regardless. There's a faster pitch. Yeah, I know. I'm on base now. What are you talking about? All right, now steal second. Well, hold on. I need to evaluate the, throw the uh, catcher. Catcher's terrible. All right. Yardy. Yes, sir. Lovely work. Okay, cool. Benny the cheese. Strike one. Ball one. The cheese. Benwood. Whoa! That one got away a little bit. Cheese! Oh, unlucky cheese. Cheese, unlucky on that one. Because that one went off like an absolute rocket. That was hammering its way out there. He just didn't quite get underneath it enough. What a hit. He's still out, but I mean, that was a great hit. Anyway, the cheese is going to try and get in on whatever happens next. No pressure. And the cheese is off to the rodeo. He's off. He's gone beyond the rodeo. He's uh, he's taken it all the way to the circus. Yard line gets in. Boom, boom, boom. Here's Julie Hardware. Oh, no. Why did I have to think that? It suddenly dawned on me, glancing over the chat, that we're in line for what might be our first shutout win of the season. I don't know that we're in line for it. I'm just thinking, I can't remember the last time we had a shutout win. Possibly because it never happened. That's the most likely thing. Uh, right, Troll is out of here. Yeah. Juan Summoner, the closer, comes back again. Now, he made mincemeat of my tiny little mind in the last game. Yeah. He's coming in slightly weary. So I'm going to let him throw himself out a little bit. Not that I need to worry too much. The only time I'll see him again is if he pitches in the ninth, which means that things will have gone terribly wrong if I have to bat in the ninth. Right, you're up full count. Excellent. Yeah. There's the walk. Flick him the Vs as you run up to first. That's the way. Uh, bananas is up. Sit him down. What? You don't need to sit him down. Yeah, I may not need to, but I want to. Okay, all right. Okay, Johnny touchdown. Here he comes. All right, Johnny, you didn't do so well last time. Let's do better this time. Yeah, this guy's getting more weary with every single pitch. Oh, you almost took his face clean off there. But instead, Johnny touchdown, bats one in. And that's a thing of beauty. Oh, yes. Runners first and second. And uh, the uh, the choice to substitute Santino Bananas immediately validated. Uh, as, uh, as the touchdown smashes in another one. Yep. Cindy there puts another one up to centre field. Bases are reloaded. We've had two outs for a while now, just in case you are wondering. And it's Cookie. She's had two walks, she's got two runs batted in, but hasn't got a hit in today's game. Could this be by Juan? Juan Summoner's gone, they're bringing in former bulldozer power player Mark Disneyland, 
who, I'm not going to lie, is having some confidence problems vis-a-vis -vis his accuracy. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give him every opportunity. Oh, no, his accuracy's back. Okay. Yeah, he's actually, he's actually quite good. He wasn't when he played for me. No. All right. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, Cookie. Cookie's done it. There you go. There's another base hit. Ah, yes. Double flaming digits. Double, double digits. And here comes Chubbs. He's only two for five, but he has reasserted his 400 batting average already. Can he do more? He has no need to do any more. We've already done enough. Uh, but walking in a run would be nice. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily going to happen. Nope. Chubb says, ah, that's not good enough. And Chubb's bats in another run. And the organ player gets a workout. Here's Richard Yardline. Well, his mood hasn't quite recovered yet, he, but he did get a base hit last time around. All right, Yardy. Yardy with another base hit. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, here's Benny Chip. I've got my batting back. Yeah, I had to concentrate to get my batting back, but I've got it back now. Can you tell? Yeah. All right, the cheese. Jeez. Shouldn't have. No. Yeah. That's fine. That was just a that was just a poor decision, but that worked. Alright, who's pitching? Uh, how's Quebec looking? We don't want to give up the lead. We don't want to give up a run. Alright, so we'll bring in Bert. Come on, Bert. We're three outs away from an absolute barnstormer of a victory. Uh, at the end of eight, it is BDP 12, the Fire Chefs, nothing. Now batting, the second baseman, number Ooh. 90. Okay, Burt Violence, for a long time, uh, our first choice of reliever, because he was our best. Now he's our second choice of reliever, behind Jeff Conservative. Jeff, already having done a good job uh, recently. Um, but that's okay. She likes fastballs. We won't chance the fastball as the last one. There's a forker. Nope. Okay. I think it's got to be a fastball. I think you've got to try and sucker her on a fastball. Okay. It's off target. Yeah. All right. But don't try and keep it too complicated. Don't just... Come on. Ah, oh, you cheating, flipping... Piece of junk computer. No, 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 skip it. No, I'm no, no celebrating for you. Well, there you go. There goes the clean sheets. The third yeah. base, number yeah. five. These Arbogast flares. Yeah, it wasn't a great pitch, but in no way did it deserve to be slapped over the fence, based on how they've been playing for the rest of this game. In no way. Cheating, flipping, computer chips. Boo! The crowds are appalled. But violence is appalled. You brought me in just to get lit up. Oh, yeah, now get a strike out. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. Center fielder, yeah. number 24. Boo! Here's Duke Spongiform. We're, sti we're still in line for what will be one of our best results of the season, providing we don't cough up too many more runs. Uh, but, you know, there's only one out so far. Oh, look, there's a double. Yeah, they've been doing that all day. Oh, no, hold on. They haven't. Well, it may be, maybe they're just good against Burt Violence. Burt Violence is a decent flipping pitcher. What are you talking about? Surely if they were going to be lighting someone up, it would have been when Boomy was on the, on the helm. You know, when he was when he was manning the road show. Alright. Yeah. That's okay. A bit of off target doesn't matter. If you put them on target every time, they get used to that and expect it and then go, ha ha ha, I see you're on target again. And you go, oh no, how did you guess that was going to happen? There you go. That's the second one. Alright. 
they'll steal third. Yeah, they probably will. And I've only got Julie Hardware on <laughs> catcher, so he's hardly like to go. Hold on, let me uh, yeah. dribble the ball out of his hand. All right, one out away from what would be a terrific result, even if it doesn't end up being a clean sweep. Uh, it doesn't matter. I oh, know it's not a clean sweep. Uh, an empty nest. There you go. Even if the nest isn't empty by the end of the game, it is still a great performance for Bulldozer Power. Uh, and uh, with only one game left in the season, it puts them in puts them in a positive frame of mind. Here's Disneyland, the picture who they'll take out. They're bringing in Batista Cranium, uh, who likes hitting the bad ball. Okay, well, let's throw some nice ones in. No, I like that one. Cookie's going to catch it. That's the end of the show. Booyah! We're going to look back through our season results now and see if we have had as comprehensive a victory as 12-1 this season. Uh, just magnificent play from BDP. Just magnificent. Uh, substitutions, you know it. Uh, Chubbs, three hits from six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody had a really good game? Uh, no, 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 not especially. Uh, the win goes to Jeffy Boy, conservative. Good lad. It's his third of the year, alongside three saves. The loss goes to Betsy, excuse me, Betsy Cthulhu. And your three stars of the day. Sandy Vapid, four of six, including a double. Uh, Coral, three of three and four runs. You've got to go, well, that doesn't add up. She walked the rest of them. And then Cookie, one of three. Yeah, but she sacrificed two runs in. Ugh. Slick. Good, 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 good. Well, the top uh, the top vote in today's poll was that we would split the result, and that's exactly what we've done. Uh, perhaps predictably. Right, the Fire Chef's in action again, and they seem to be quite cross. They beat the Grazer Ridge team 10 to 5. Colonel Score now gets Lingo Blend. Colonel Score win that 8 0. There's only a couple more games left to go. Uh, the Wizards lost against Stardozer. I don't think that's going to be critical for the playoffs. No. Uh, Peninsula Transport against Budget Roadies. Peninsula Transport getting the win, but they are a long way out. Uh, the Beekeepers with another win, taking them to 31 this season. Shady Palms now against the Voo Voo Boys. Was a Shady Palms win, but they're not going anywhere. Sweaty Marsupials. They're in the running, and that win puts them into the playoffs for now. It's not all over. The marsupials have got no games left to play. I'm just saying. Uh, right, what was I going to look at? I was going to look at my schedule. Uh, right, here's the schedule. Our last game of the season is going to be against Grazer Ridge, just so you know. Right, here's from the start of the year. What we're looking for is a 1 or a 0 in the left-hand column. So the first game, we won 18-6. I had it too easy. 11-12, the second game. Slightly better. In fact, that was that's a humdinger of a game. Here's where we lost 20 to nothing. Where was the rubber band in that one? It didn't exist. That was when you had your batting too difficult. Yeah. We've given up two a few times. Yeah. In fact, we've given up two a car quite a few times. Have we ever only given up one? There. We beat Shady Palms 9-1. That's not as good as the result we just had. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Best result of the season, 12-1. Best result of the year. Best result of the year. Yeah, Rusty, everyone's watching it on telly. And it's got 45 likes. Just saying. It's not four. It's 45. Uh, all right. Good times. Good work. Good work. Good times. Grazer Ridge, the last game. Next week, you will experience BDP versus Grazer Ridge. A game that matters to absolutely nobody other than those who want to claim stuff. Why? I pulled up the stats. Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick whistle stop through them just in case you care. Uh, right. Cookie is number one in the league ahead of Cindy. Uh, Yardy's at four. Val's down in ninth. That's fewer than we had last time I looked. Yeah. Uh, for batting, top five are all us. And then there's two more in the bottom five of the top ten. Yep. Home runs, we're not leading. Bum Soz is the home run leader. Uh, Job Scott Dunn is also ahead of Shandy Worthless, who has 14 home runs. RBIs, though, Cookie Peaches, Wallace and Shandy Worthless are your champions. On base percentage, Cookie gets on base over 50% of the time. So does Cindy. 
that's remarkable play from both of them. But we knew that they were good already. There you go. 15-2 was good as well. Yeah, but that's giving up two runs, not one run, you see. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hits. 100 hits apiece for Cookie and Cindy. That's brilliant. Uh, in the league, the next best for hits is Kimberly Freightmaster, who has 69. Goes to show, rather, that we do hit a lot. We just don't get enough runs in. But we are playing better these days. Cindy makes the top 10 for extra base hits with 26. Okay. Uh, run scored, obviously going to be us. We score our runs. Richard Yardline leads the league for steals with 19. He also leads the league for being caught stealing with 7. Well, no one gets caught stealing if they try it against me. Uh, in your pitchers, Tremaine Jazz Hammock is number 1. Uh, Betsy Cthulhu's in the top 10 for some reason. We just lit her up like it was Christmas. Uh, Des Eyeliner is the best in the league. Uh, for earned run average, uh, or rather the lack of. Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay, yeah, good. There's some whip. Yep. Yep, that's that's what you like to see. And strikeouts. Professor Feetum, remember him? Uh, he, he leads the league for strikeouts. Who's he playing for these days? Sportsball Union. Uh, Bubbly's in there at 73. Des Eyeliner on 72. Some names going on right there. Bubbles. Uh, averages nine strikeouts uh, every nine every nine innings. Richard Boom, though, is there as well. He's not even that good. No. And then walks. We don't do walks very often. No. And the strikeout to walk ratio reflects that. Uh, that will that will wrap it up. I've been Colonel Failure. The next game is coming up. And after the next game has been played next weekend, we will immediately simulate our way through the playoffs. No, we're not going to watch it. Because it's boring if I'm not batting, and I don't want to. Okay, any questions? Didn't think so. And then we will run through the off-season, because we'll have lots of lovely time left to play with. Ha <laughs> ha I've no idea what's going to happen. I do know we've got some old, old players on our team, and we might lose some names. And then where will we be? Where indeed? I'm in Colonel Failure. Thank you for tuning in. These Sunday night escapades are really good fun. Uh, I enjoy them greatly. Uh, thank you very much for uh, for joining in and getting into the team and indeed party spirit. That's why you're the best. Everybody says so. I'll catch you soon. I don't know which is the right button. I think it's this one. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.